So the first question for today's session is from the filling the blanks. She could eat easily eat the dash biryani by itself. Okay, it is howl, whole, hall, or whole. Okay, student, uh, this is basically called homonyms. Okay, which pronunciation is somewhat same, but their meaning and their uh, spelling is different. Okay, so this is very easily. She could eat the whole biryani. Option B. Whole means completely. Okay, completely. Okay, so she could eat the whole biryani by itself. So it is basically W H O L E, not hall or whole or howl. Okay. these other three words have different meaning but from this statement wise this whole is perfectly valid one okay so whole means completely okay let's see the next uh, question and your time starts now uh you need to select the option uh which uh express the given sentence in active voice okay so the statement is the deer was killed by the boar a very simple one student so whenever you need to convert into active voice you need to change the subject and objects okay so here your object is boar and subject is deer so you need to replace so the boar killed the deer so option 4 is the right answer okay since it is in past tense so you need to convert into past simple past okay so the boar killed the deer and if you convert it the deer was killed by the boar okay so option 4 is the correct answer let's see the next question it is from the misspelled word a very simple one and this is very common mistake generally student do it is option 1 if you give you are right it is sufficient okay it is i e n t not e i n t okay syrup is right superior is right shrubbery is right okay so option 1 is the correct answer for this question let's see the next question a very big one but very easy one uh, you need to uh, use the appropriate synonym for the underlined word okay if you want to read it you can read it otherwise you know the word it is wisdom wisdom as you know it is intelligence it is the insight so option 3 is the correct one okay clarity folly and emotion they are no way related to wisdom but insight is somewhat related to uh, wisdom so wisdom uh, synonym is insight you can uh, get that okay so option 3 is the right answer coming to the next question it is from the one word substitution a very easy one okay a place where airplanes are kept for maintenance okay student i told you in idiom and phrases and one word substitution always uh, first see uh, the direct thing okay so like scullery it is a place where a uh, kitchen utensil were placed so you can easily eliminate this option aviary it is something related to aviation but it is not the place where air cap airplanes are kept okay so again this is wrong so you are left with hanger and hanger okay it is er it is ar okay hanger is an object on which you place your cloth it, it is like this or it can be shaped like this okay these are hangers but h a n g a r it is the place where airplane are kept so option 3 is the right answer okay so those who have given option 3 they are very good keep it up okay let's see the next question okay and your time start now so this polythene a uh, terephthalate one of the most common uh, recycled plastic and the material used in majority of water and soda water can be transformed into everything from polyester to automotive okay so whenever there is conversion from one thing to another it is it is transformed for sure but the another word is converted so if you see option 3 has only conversion so may be converted should be the right answer let's see the answer yes it's option 3 okay you need to read the full sentence and uh, try to evolve uh, the answer from that part okay let's see the next question it is from the error detection uh it can get extremely see uh, while reading sentence i got the correct one okay it can get 
extreme cold during winters okay it can get extremely cold okay so option 4 should be the right and uh, it is the right it it can get extremely cold okay extremely cold during the winters it can during uh, the winters they are not uh, any mistake in the sentence okay let's see the next one it is from the misspelled word a very easy one this dearth corrupt and barely are correct so we are left with option 2 and as you know it is acceptable so instead of i a should be there so option 2 is the right answer okay okay let we move to the next question it is from the antonyms my niece is an amateur artist i hope she become famous one day amateur means you can uh, derive from the statement itself she i hope she become famous one day amateur means which who is beginner in some field okay this is beginner okay the synonym is beginner and uh, antonym for the beginner is expert or uh, who is expert in that field okay so option 3 is the antonym for amateur expert okay let's see the next one uh, the secretary uh to my boss is very efficient as he not only gives him the required information and also handles correspond independently okay instead of this uh, if you read out the sentence but also handles uh, correspondence independently that uh, will become much more relevant to this particular context so option 2 is the valid one okay option 2 but also handles a cor uh, correspondence independently okay let's see the next question it is from the jumbled it is very long one but you can uh, do very quickly so whenever uh, you find such question you start with the main idea where it is begin my grandmother always spent always went to school with me because the school was attached to sample okay this is perfectly valid uh you need not to read all these thing because this is the opening statement seems to be like this opening statement and option you can see it is the opening statement so next should be c b or d let's with c while the children said so this is somewhat uh precursory to certain event okay so because of while okay when both we both finish so something must be happened so option d should be the uh, correct one so we are left with option 3 and 4 let's see the uh, whether b e or c should become the priest taught us uh, the alphabet and morning prayer okay so when we finish we would back together while children uh, sat in row so in these two sentence uh, after d b is perfectly valid since they are doing morning prayer when they finish they would go back together so option 4 is the <coughs> option uh, this is four option four is the correct answer okay not option four option three if you read while the children sat in row on the either side of veranda while singing my grandmother sat inside reading scripture when we both finish we would come back so option three should be the correct this is correct only student my mistake it is three okay so three is the correct answer for this question let's see the next question keats and shelley were the poet of same period in other other words they are what co-writers contemporary colleague and associate student whenever the two personalities are from the same period they are called contemporaries okay so option 1 is the right answer quickly moving to the next question uh you need to answer the appropriate synonym for the underlined word the weather forecast mentioned there would be cloud burst okay whenever there is a cloud burst this is indicate heavy rainfall okay heavy rainfall so option rainstorm should be the right answer let's see the answer yes it's rainfall let's see the next question uh you need to give the appropriate meaning of the given idiom and idiom is get up the wrong side of the bed okay get up the wrong side of the bed so in the ad this idiom uh, topic i already told you never go with the straight meaning so go to bed or go to sleep you should eliminate because it is direct okay wrong and this is good 
so this should be eliminated these are opposite so meaning is not uh, the opposite one so we so we are left with option 2 and 1 so someone who is having horrible day destroy or ruin a plan so if we are on the wrong side means uh, we have something bad so both these indicate bad thing okay so but <coughs> the most appropriate if you see if you are getting up on the wrong side means <coughs> some day sorry sometime you will have some horrible day okay so option 1 we can just take a back okay so option 1 is the correct answer for this question okay this is for those uh, who have not uh, done the proper idiom learning okay so they can do the elimination method okay <coughs> let's see the next see the next question uh, it is from the idiom and phrases the my cousin sister neetu had an aerial view of the trade fair from the top of the giant whale okay so here uh, aerial view you need to find the correct idiom aerial view means bird eye view that is a very simple one but as i told you if you do not know the correct one you can eliminate like aerial view so aerial is something uh, if you go to direct so direct uh, you can straight away eliminate birds of the same feather birds brain and child uh, birds with glide cage so birds eye view is the thing that you can see everything from the top okay so option 2 is the right answer let's see the next question you need to express the given sentence in passive voice so this is an active we are organizing the charity function tomorrow okay a very simple one you need to convert charity function and uh, as you know it become since it is in present continuous you need to convert into present continuous so the charity function is organized by us tomorrow okay so if you see the charity function since it is in continuous so being should be there so this being should be there so you can eliminate option 1 and option 4 the charity function is being organized organized it should not be organized it should be organized so option 2 is the right answer <laughs> let's see the next question it is from the antonyms and uh, the word is naif okay you need to uh, select the most appropriate word for the word naif from the given sentence so these are uh, uh, the words given in the sentence you need to pick the antonym for naif okay so after the year of working in politics she had become cynical and jaded okay since these are two uh, different words and all are simple ones okay so definitely this antonym should be between these two okay so if you have done a practice you can easily tell the answer is cynical okay so cynical is the correct answer okay let's see the next question it is from the filling the blanks the driver very subtly dash the traffic violation he committed okay it is a common phrase student when when something is ironed out okay when he just violated the uh, things it is called iron out okay so option 3 the driver very subtly iron out the traffic he committed traffic violation he committed so those who have given option 3 they are right so they are doing very good okay let's see the next question i think this is the last one let's see it again it is from the para jumble it is from the para jumble or sentence jumble okay so let's see in the ha shakespeare hand english drama okay this can be the first one this should not be the first one this can be the first one this should not be the first one okay so you can eliminate options uh 3 straight away uh, not option 3 option 4 because uh, d cannot be uh, started okay and b cannot be started so option 1 and 4 you can straight away eliminate it so you are left with option a and c let's begin with c william shakespeare is considered as the greatest dramatist and the poet of english language okay so if we go with uh next sentence uh, we have option c and a if you go with a in shakespeare hand english drama 
and next is d achieved a matchless brilliance that first shown a uh, fourth in his early place yes it's option 3 seems to be the good one okay and it is the correct one 